Disaster recovery centers across Mississippi have been set up to help victims of that string of twisters which rampaged through the state back in June. Originally, doors were expected to open in Moss Point today, but that was delayed. They won't open now until the morning. In Moss Point, people living there, they're looking forward to that. Fox to News' Lacey Beasley there in Moss Point today, one of the hardest hit locations. She's got a story of two churches and incredible unity. I get a call from one of the members over there and said, I'm looking at the roof being blown off of our church right now. I'm like, are you serious? This is what's left of First Missionary Baptist in Moss Point. The church and its steeple stood strong off Main Street for 70 years. Now ruined. Just complete annihilation and, and destruction like I've never seen before. Can you walk me through yeah, and show sure. me a little bit? Senior Pastor Kevin Henry walks me around the church as he recalls the terrifying afternoon of June 19th. He rushed to town after receiving frantic phone calls of mass devastation at the church. Thankfully, no one was inside. The roof has really, you know, caved oh, in wow. over time. Today, the sunlight beams through the roof and onto pews draped in remnants of drywall. The windows look like they were bashed in with a baseball bat and big objects thrown across the room like toys. I can't even imagine what kind of wind strength it would take to uh, totally uproot a, a pew <laughs> from the floor. That was bolted and to the floor. That was bolted to the floor. This pew and a garbage can that wasn't theirs. As you can see, this garbage can. Oh my goodness! Uh, actually, ended up. That was one of the first things I saw when I came in the sanctuary. Was this this garbage can ended up here, and I don't know where it came from. A glimmer of hope 24 hours after the twister. A special call coming from First Baptist Moss Point, less than 1,000 feet down the road. The pastor had actually reached out to me after the storm and said, hey, listen, God has led me to, to reach out to you and offer our building for you, you all's use in the event that you need a place to worship. I called him back and I said, sure, we, you know, that would be, a, that's awesome. Let's come together and do it. I didn't know how we were going to do it. Pastors say the accommodation was seamless. They're a lot larger congregation than ours, but we have a huge facility. And so it, it makes sense to utilize that facility and to help them in that process. As long as it takes, uh, we're committed to making sure they have a place and a home. In the meantime, a long road ahead for First Missionary Baptist, Pastor Henry choosing to see the positives. Certain light fixtures with gold crosses still hanging. And when the storm blew through, he tells me amidst all the ruin, somehow this clock kept ticking. His message to keep pressing on. Time is going to continue to go on. And so we have to go on as well. We have to keep going. The best is yet to come. Uh, even though the storm took some things, it didn't take our resilience and it didn't take our hope away. Reporting in Moss Point, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.